My name is Kerry Rappaport. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at uh, Northeastern University. My uh, specific research interests are in uh, millimeter wave radar detection of body-worn explosives, both near field, uh, that is close in, portal-based security screening type applications, as well as standoff, which is trying to identify suicide bombers at a distance. In both cases, we like to use radar, which penetrates uh, uh, clothing, reflects off skin, and as such uh, could identify things that uh, are underclothing that don't look like skin. The uh, latest effort we're looking at is a combining millimeter wave portal based detection with uh, X-ray backscatter detection. Uh, X-ray is, is high resolution, is, is uh, very effective, uh, but in, indeed many passengers are, are worried about ionizing radiation and if we could reduce the the, uh, the dosage and amount of, of X-rays that, that people get, uh, people might prefer that. Millimeter waves are non-ionizing, there's no particular health uh, uh, risks there, but uh, it's a little slower and the resolution isn't as good. So we're working to both improve resolution, that is get, get higher quality uh, images of, of uh, uh, body shape, but supplement it perhaps with, with uh, x-ray. There's one last technology that we're particularly uh, looking at, which is low frequency radar. The high frequency radar certainly identifies the, the, the accurately the, the, the external contours of the body, but don't penetrate too well. Lower frequency radar, say, uh, the frequency that's used in microwave ovens, uh, two and a half gigahertz or so, certainly does penetrate. And since explosives don't look like tissue at all, don't look like blood, explosives don't look like organ, they don't look like fat, very different uh, uh, electrical characteristics than, than these biological tissues, there will be a, a different response associated with implantable or, or existing uh, internal uh, uh, explosives.